Hello, my name's John Thorne. I'm the owner of Silverstone Shooting Centre and welcome to our new channel about target shooting. Hello and welcome to episode one of what I hope is a series about the sport of target shooting. The series is aimed primarily for the non-shooter, someone who's never heard of target shooting, maybe interested about it. But hopefully there'll be some information for people who are shooting as well, and hopefully cover the wide range of sport that we cover. The trick's in the title, we shoot targets. Nothing living is shot, bird or otherwise. I'm not trying to get into the debate about shooting quarry or hunting, simply point out that the sport of target shooting simply does that, shoot targets. We basically shoot bits of paper. So pretty much the tree was dead long time before we caused the injury to it. Now target shooting is a hugely varied sport. There are lots of different kinds of guns, lots of kinds of bullets, lots of different kinds of distances. And that's really where it comes down to the fact when people have lots of different guns. Now, I have several rifles, several firearms. They all do different jobs. That doesn't mean I'm an avid gun collector. None of my guns have names, for example. None of them get stroked in the evening. They're simply tools for a job, but they all do different kinds of jobs. And the way to think about it for the non-shooter is think like a set of golf clubs. Technically, you could do around a golf with a putter. It would do very well, but in the day, each club has a different job to do, and firearms are no different. So the idea of this series is to introduce people to the idea of target shooting as a sport, introduce some of the different kinds of disciplines, the different ones that we do, and hopefully give you an idea of something that might be something to try out later on. At the moment, I've got a few rifles here to look at, and they all do different jobs. So if we start in particular order, <coughs> this is a Marlin under lever. You might recognise it. Bit of a cowboy gun. John Wayne asked for one of these things. In fact, an older one, this one is the answer. This is used primarily in a sport called gallery rifle. Now, gallery rifle shoots targets anywhere between 10 to 100 meters, but tends to be more shorter distances, 10, 25, and 50 meters. Sometimes static targets, sometimes moving, and sometimes against the clock. It's a basically a rapid firing rifle, where by every time you cock the action, another round is put in. So you basically you can shoot as quick as you can cock the rifle. So primarily it's used at shorter distances, and it shoots one of these. This is a 38 Special round, also shot on the pistol. Anything to note as well, I'll open the action every time to show the fact the gun is empty. We're alone in the range here now, there's no one else here other than myself and the cameraman. So basically speaking, there'll be no danger in terms of pointing anybody. But all the guns will be unloaded and it's one of the rules of firearm safety, which we'll cover later on in the series. Moving on from that, we have, this is a BAR 223 straight pull. Now this shoots a slightly larger calibre of uh, uh, ammunition, which is a 223, also known as 5.56, which is the military version. It's not exactly the same round, but close enough. Now this tends to be used on slightly longer distances. So this will shoot anywhere between 100 up to 600, 700 metres. Um, and it's a straight pull, which basically means every time we pull the action back, another round is, is engaged. So magazine fed this time, and literally pull the action back, another bullet is inserted into the action, and you can fire again. So in the UK, we have no semi-automatic rifles at all, except for the 2 2 which I'll cover in a second. Okay, they all have to have some kind of physical action to reload again. They're single shot each time. Um, <clears throat> going further forward into a larger calibre, this is a 308. So this is a more traditional bolt-action rifle. This is a Remington 700 with an AB arm stock. As you can see, it's a traditional bolt rifle. So basically what happens, the bolt goes forward, puts the round in place, pull the trigger, eject the round, pull back. Magazine fed again, but again in terms of action, one off the other to load another new, new cartridge in. This shoots a 308 round, which is pretty much one of the biggest that you can shoot. Also known as 7.62, which is what the military tend to term it. Again, not identical, but close enough. You tend to shoot these much longer distances, anywhere between 600 to 1200 meters, even 2000 meters some places. And again, so it's more of a longer distance type round to go through. Finally, I'll shoot the round that we can shoot semi-automatic. This is a CZ-512 Tactical. This shoots a 2-2 round, which is the smallest calibre that we can shoot in the UK. A little small thing like that. But we can shoot this in semi-automatic form, which basically means you put a magazine in, and every time you pull the trigger, another round is ready to be fired. So in this example, action goes forward, pull a trigger, another round is put straight in when the magazine's in. As you can see, we always leave the action open, so you can see if that's unloaded. All these are basic target rifle shooting. But also as well as the rifles, there's also capacity to use pistols. 
although technically not really a pistol. This stranger contraption is what's known as a long-barreled pistol. Okay, we'll go through some of the legal aspects of the of the sport later on. But technically speaking, this is the minimum length we need to have for a, for a firearm to be shot for target purposes. Now this is slightly different, it's a separate classification, but I'm just showing you there for the fact that there is some element of pistol shooting. But this means the minimum length is the distance of legal to have. But it's a shot, essentially to pistol. And again, this shoots say, two two round, and again in semi-automatic form, pull the trigger, pull the rounds and get engaged with the action. The main thing about the sport is that it's determined really by the size of the calibre of the bullet that you're shooting, the distance that you're shooting, and the kind of shooting that you're doing. For example, the 2 rifle will do what's more practical style shooting, which is more moving and firing, dynamic, where you're shooting different targets, different areas in the range. Obviously, a 308, etc., with it being a larger caliber, it's more static shooting. You're shooting targets 600 to 1,000 meters away. You'll be shooting lying down, which is called prone, or sitting, even standing. And obviously, the other versions between the two. Gallo rifle, for example, can be shot sitting or standing, or again, a prone. Ditto pistol, more primarily for practical shooting as well, which is more dynamic. The main thing I'm trying to get across is that there are lots of different kinds of shooting. Um, all these guns can be shot, and they all shot, shoot bullets, but they wouldn't be suitable for certain kinds of sporting. So I just mentioned five or six different classifications. Once you mix up different calibers and different distances, there are literally hundreds of target shooting sports you can take up, whichever suits you. The main thing about these series of programs trying to get across is explain the fact that it's quite a large sport, it's very inclusive, a lot of sporting requires to be sitting down, so those people less that are able are very able to actually shoot, shoot a rifle and talk a very high competitive level. Uh, let alone Paralympics, there are people who have less able bodies who are just as good competitive shooters as able bodied people. It's a very inclusive sport in that regard. And also in terms of fitness, some of the sporting is very dynamic, a lot of running around, obviously it's very aerobic, but other sports are based very static. So it can be done very late in ages of life, but also people who perhaps, you know, don't want an active lifestyle. The good thing about target shooting is a very varied sport, so it's something that will be quite interesting having fun. The idea about this series is to introduce you different kind of types there are, different kind of guns, different kind of sporting types. We'll do some shooting, we're going to explain some safety rules, the law as well. And also to keep it fun, end of each programme, we're going to put some of the outtakes out of it. I'm not a professional presenter, so you'll find in the course of the programmes that sometimes the outtake programmes will be longer than the main one. But we put it in, add a bit of fun to it, etc. and realise that we all make mistakes. OK, thank you for watching the first one. These are all going to go out on social media channels, so do the like, share, whatever you'd like to do if you can. Um, the idea, of course, of the series is to start going different details and hopefully get more people interested in shooting. Thanks for watching the first one. Hope to see you soon. Cheers. Hello, welcome to the first programme on the targets. Oh, Give me a chance when you go in five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the first programme on target shooting. Now the trick is in the title. We shoot targets. Nothing gets killed at all. We don't shoot birds or clays or clays don't live. Um. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the first programme on target shooting. The trick is in the title, we shoot targets. We don't shoot anything living at all. The bits of cardboard, the bits of things, and the targets are over there because I've left them behind. <laughs> we shoot targets. Ah, it's great all that. You're going to have that play in the background, aren't you? No? Can't hear it at all. Well, I didn't like it anyway. What we <laughs> <laughs> the trick's in the title. Target shooting means we shoot targets. There's nothing human or nothing. I just can't say human. <laughs> <laughs> the programs are aimed at the non-shooter, somebody who's never heard of target shooting or that hasn't had much interest about it. Why are they interested in watching it? I hate f***ing presenting.